Okay. Well, let me edit this. Flip this around. There we go. Make change that so you can see it better, hopefully. Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay. Facebook changes its <laughs> settings on live videos. So I'm trying to navigate this again. Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay. Let me change that just a skosh. Just a skosh. Okay. So I drew this big thing here because I want to talk about thyroid and estrogen issues. Um, many, many things impact thyroid hormone and how that works and functions in your body. Um, cortisol, stress, your adrenals, adrenal fatigue, huge impact. Um, toxin levels, um, nutrient levels, all that stuff, of course. But one of the big things too that a lot of gals don't realize is that your estrogen levels also play a big role in how your thyroid's functioning. So this is one of the reasons that we look at Dutch tests, that we really take a comprehensive look at your hormones, seeing what's happening, what's going on, and how can we really help your system. So if you have not looked at working with me, I'm going to put a link here in the comments for you to check out how to do that, um, making sure that you are getting a full comprehensive look at what's happening for your system. So often we, you know, just like move ahead with some type of suggestion thinking, gosh, well, this has got to be it. This has got to be the thing. I don't understand why it, it wouldn't work for me, or maybe I'm really doing it wrong, or I don't understand. Maybe I just have to get a longer period of time, but you're not actually taking a full scope look at what's happening in your system. So um, the thing that I want to cover here really quick as we, as we dive in, um, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff here um, that I want to go over. So I want to make sure I go through all of this and then it makes sense. If you guys have questions on this, let me know. If you guys are like, whoa, 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 what about this piece? I can absolutely do another video talking about that, but I really want to focus on the estrogen issue here and why this causes thyroid issues. Because I have heard from gals where they're like, yeah, well, it's just my thyroid. Like my thyroid, which is right here, that's not connected to my, you know, my estrogen, because that's part of my reproductive system, which is, you know, my lower abdomen. Those aren't close. How would they be connected? Oh, oh, contraire. <laughs> We're getting into it. Here we go. Thyroid. So your brain, this is supposed to be a picture of your brain, by the way. <laughs> um, pituitary releases TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone. And that's what tells your thyroid, this gland, that's supposed to be your thyroid, which is right, right there, um, to release other things that your body actually uses. This might seem like an inefficient system. Eh, okay. Now, most people, when they get their thyroid tested, all they're testing is this number. They're not testing anything else in the chain. Ooh, yeah. So this number can be fine, right? Like, oh, your TSH is fine. I don't know why you feel like you have all these thyroid symptoms. If you Google like thyroid, you know, hypothyroid, thyroid issues, and you're like, yeah, I like that totally sounds like me. Okay, but they checked my TSH and they said it was fine. That's crap, in my professional opinion. And here's why. Because this is just one, one number that you're looking at. When your thyroid actually releases T4, which is a less active type of um, hormone that gets released, but the main thing that the thyroid releases, T4 is what, this is what negative feedback system. So this is what tells the brain whether or not there's enough of it right? But there's this whole other, other chain of events that has to happen here too for your cells to actually get the stuff. We're missing a huge chunk of it here. Come on. Okay. So TSH, if that's the only number you're checking, you're missing a huge part of it. From there, then thyroid will release T4, right? And then there's another enzyme that converts it to T3. And T3 is super important. This is three times more active than T4. And it's the T3 that actually you know, hits the cells. So your cells here have a receptor and that T3 comes in and that's where it gets to use it, which is important for your metabolism and on all these other things, right? All these other cellular functions. Yes. Now there are some things that I wrote down here. Toxins can get in the way and are to be blocking that for the cell. That's why I take women through, you know, hormone detoxes, things like that. You can have genetic issues where that receptor maybe is not the right shape. So the T3 can't bind to all of your receptors. 
there's different things we have to work on with this then. And again, this is why, um, you know, when women work with me in a one-on-one setting, I will do genetic testing, GI mapping, all these other things to make sure you have enough nutrient for these things to happen and to make sure we're looking at your genetics and stuff. Um, so we're addressing all the issues that are, that are connected here. But here is one of the big things when we look at estrogen, estrogen dominance, high estrogen levels, hormone imbalance issues, and the amount of even T4. And this is right here in the chain of events, right here, this guy, T4. So this is what's really, really important. And TBG, and it sounds like I make some of these things up. I swear, I'm not making this up. Like You can Google all of this too. Um, thyroxin binding globulin, right? Who names this? I come on, right? But thyroxin binding globulin basically takes some T4 and it makes it inactive because your body's in this process of like, it produces things, it uses it, and then it wants to shunt it out, right? So this guy's job is to make this T4 inactive and there you go. Yep. We're done with you. See you later, buddy. Right? Mm, Okay, great. But if you have high estrogen levels, that will cause you to have high thyroxin binding globulin. Why is this important? If you have too much of this stuff, it's going to take this T4, way too much of it, make it inactive before it gets to be down here. You want some of this to be inactive, but you want enough of it coming through so your cells actually get it. It's like, and if you're thinking, holy crap, there are so many things that can go wrong along this whole chain of events to actually get to the cells to use the thyroid stuff. Yes. Yes, there are a lot of things that can go wrong. That's why just looking at one number, not good enough in terms of looking at what's really going on with your thyroid. We have to look at so much more about what's happening in the entire chain of events to make sure that there's not a glitch in the system. If there's a glitch here, if there's, you know, if you're not getting enough zinc, this is not going to happen. If your cells, again, have an issue and it's not being addressed, there's no way that you can work out harder and just get your metabolism going. Your metabolism is not working then. Yeah, I don't care if you're eating the perfect diet. That does not compute here. It's not the same. And it's the same thing too with estrogen issues. If you have high estrogen levels and you are not addressing these things, yet you're trying to, oh, take thyroid med or do other things with your thyroid, but this is still happening, that's still gonna create this issue here, which messes everything up. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully this kind of explains why it's so important to look at your entire system. Your entire body is connected. Everything works with everything else. All your systems work together, especially your hormones, especially your hormones. So, and this is one piece of it. This is your estrogen, high estrogen levels causes more of this TBG, which is thyroxin binding globulin, which makes this T4 inactive So it stops right here and it doesn't even get to continue down the chain towards your cells. You don't even get a chance then. You don't even get a chance. (laughs) Anybody else? Like, come on right now, right? Holy cow. So what do we do about this? We get a full thyroid panel checking TSH, T4, T3, reverse T3, antibodies to see if there's any autoimmune issues going on. And again, I like to look at genetic testing to see if there's things there. Uh, Make sure that we are doing a Dutch test to look at what your hormones are doing, a comprehensive hormone test to see if you have estrogen issues and how to fully resolve those issues, how to get your body to maintain levels better. Um, If you're wondering how to work with hormones, one of my new favorite things that I have been seeing some amazing things shift and change for women with, um, I have supplements for your hormones. Uh, for balancing estrogen, for balancing progesterone. And you take them, you know, weeks one and two of your cycle, days one through 14 of your cycle, and days 15 through 28 of your cycle to help your system create and maintain these levels so you can help decrease this to help everything else function better. Yes, yes. Um, Other resources I have for you guys uh, in terms of like eating for your hormones and cycle, making sure that you're doing as much as you can for your hormones and your health. Uh, my book, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon, talking all about how to eat for your hormones in your cycle. And then The Female Menopause Solution, this is also on Amazon. So if you are in menopause, can you still have estrogen be an issue here with your thyroid? Yes, yes, especially women who have issues with uh, menopause symptoms. Even if you went through menopause like three years ago, this can still be a factor that we have to address. 
absolutely. I see it all the time. Yeah. I also have my podcast, which is a female health solution. I have some amazing episodes that are about to drop. So make sure you subscribe there. And then my YouTube channel is called Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to stay updated on all of the information that I have coming out. So that's what I got for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any questions. Again, go in the comments, check out that link. Um, and then if you have any other issues or need any other guidance, don't hesitate to either comment below or reach out to me if you're not comfortable commenting. And if you know somebody who's been struggling with this, share this information with them. So many women don't understand or don't realize how these things are connected. So share this video, share this information so that other gals can really, oh my gosh, yes, that makes sense. So if you are like, if you're watching this and you're like, oh my gosh, that's me, great. But if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I was just talking to so-and-so about this, share this with them. That's how women can know more about our health and systems. Yes, Chrissy, thanks. Yes, yes, Chrissy, I'm glad you enjoy the info. So let me know if there's anything else. Otherwise, have a great night, you guys, and I will see you later.